Yeah, awesome death. Okay. <laughs> nice yeah. choice. I got to I got to give you a round of applause for that. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought of that. Was, that was a good okay, we, moment. We have made it through our review of past seasons and now we're going to go on to the big stuff of predictions for this final season. Okay. We just talked about favorite deaths and I think we're going to start with you win or you die. <laughs> you win or you die. Everybody's wondering. I mean, Game of Thrones is a slaughterhouse. It always has been. I don't think it's going to be any different in the final season. Slaughterhouse. We need to figure out who is going to make it into the new world and who <coughs> is going to take the bucket. And so I thought what we could begin with maybe are some of the lesser characters. And then we could end with mm-hmm. with some of the main characters. There's a lot of characters. As to, well, we'll just run through them just very quickly. And I do want you think you to... that do you think the first episode are they just gonna pop somebody major or a fan favorite like right out of the gate? I think so. To show you tell too. you this is the end. Yeah. Yeah, it's I like we're we're not playing around this season. No. Everybody's yeah. gonna die. Yeah, yeah right. we've only got uh, what is it, Bella Mar- Margulis, all men die or whatever. Right. The yeah, yeah, is. yeah. <laughs> all men <laughs> yeah, must die. Is, yes, yeah, that's gonna happen. <laughs> uh, and they only got six episodes, so people are really in like twice. Yeah, yeah, six yeah. episodes. Yeah. So let's start with some of the minor characters, and then we'll go to the major houses. Um, what about Sam? Samuel Tarley. No, he'll, he'll live. Live or he he'll die? Live. And if you say he dies, by whose hand and how? Okay, live. Yeah, he'll live. He'll live. All right. We need scholars in the new world, so yep. he's going to live. Um, Bron. He may end up being the reluctant king or something. He's from a he's from a house. Yeah. Um, I mean, just by nature of being a guy left standing. Yeah. Who Bron. Who was the next one? Bron. Bron. Bron's gonna die. Bron's gonna die. I'm trying wow. to think of at whose hand. I think he's just gonna die in combat. I don't think it's gonna be anybody in particular. Um, but I think he'll, but I think he'll do it, sacrificing himself to save someone else, maybe Tyrion? to save Tyrion. Tyrion. Yeah. yeah, I think he'll die sacrificing himself to save Tyrion. Good choice. Yeah, I almost think Jamie will kill him because um, Jamie's like a uh, is like a pariah now, mm-hmm. and Bronn is still working for Cersei, as far as I know. Um, but uh, there's every chance that it'll be someone like the mountain or someone like that i think the mountain's going to get quite a corpse count before he's taken out <laughs> yeah <laughs> see more from the mountain. <laughs> even though they're on this even though they're on the same side like you said the mountain i could see cersei saying kill the dwarf you know step on the dwarf and then bron jumping Bron's in the way in, yeah. yeah that's you guys are probably right but i'm gonna go out on a limb and say he survives okay he would he be did... one of the characters that would he's he comes from the underbelly yeah he's a survivor yeah. he's a cockroach He's a survivor like yeah, Arya, really so I, I think he's going to survive. Okay, what a great what about... act, too. What a yeah. great um, He's the one character that when I watched the show, I thought, oh, he doesn't, because I had a vision of Bronn in my head from the mm-hmm. books. I thought, he doesn't seem right at all. Uh, I didn't picture a Cockney accent. I didn't picture, and boy, uh, what a revelation he's been. He just mm-hmm. really won me over. What an incredible, made that part his own. Okay, let's go to Varys. People love Varys, so I think Varys is going to die. Oh, <laughs> I, I say he lives. Why? Why do I think he lives? Yeah, I just think he's he's just one of those guys, almost like in a cockroach kind of way, you know, not okay, nothing negative against his character because mm-hmm. I love his character, but kind of in the same sort of reason why uh, you know Greedo said that Bronn's going to be the the cockroach that doesn't die, or or, or Gundark or whoever said that, but um, yeah, I, I just think he's going to somehow survive it all. Even though I, I think it's almost too obvious gonna... he's gonna die, I think he'll live. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna jump the shark here. I'm gonna say <laughs> he's gonna die by the skeletal hand of Ned Stark. Oh, he is down in that crypt. He was largely responsible for Ned Stark's death in in convincing him to make the false confession that got him executed, and he did that, of course, in the attempt to try to prevent a war, and he ended up contributing to starting it and yeah. there is no no good deed goes unpunished in game of thrones and so i think well he's also that's, um, a good point. In the books, that's a really good point in the books it's much more murky whether uh various is a good or bad guy um yeah. you really don't know he's the spider i mean he uh, right he's the known as the guy yeah. at the center of the web he has his little birds nobody knows his allegiances in the in the show they've made it a little more clear and maybe they have in the book i didn't read the last book but um 
I think I think yeah, I think he will die by some form of undead or uh as part of this uh war with the north. Like the like the Lich King or somebody will, yeah. will take him out. I don't okay, know about Ned about Stark. Him? I think people are obsessed with Ned Stark. I don't <laughs> I hope Ned Stark stays dead. I, I, that would be so silly to bring him back. <laughs> Yeah. That's why I said I was jumping the shark. Yeah, you're jumping, the shark. <laughs> jumping the crypt. Okay, what about uh, Melisandre? Is she and Varys had some interactions this last season? She has to die. She's toast. Yeah. I did, yeah, a toast. Literally, I think she's gonna literally. die. Dragon. I think she'll burn. Yep. She's gonna yeah. Gonna die yeah. by fire. Dragon, old dragon will kill her. Yeah, because she's dragon lived fire. too long. She's she has extended her life, I think, solely for this conflict with the dark forces. And I bet it'll be the undead dragon will breathe on it. I, I, I think so too. Maybe the ice fire, whatever that is that he breathes. Um, okay, how about Brienne of Tarth? Ooh, now we're down to it. Uh, Brienne lives. <sighs> I am gonna say die, and um, the reason I say that is because I think Brienne is gonna end up being a legendary character in the history of um, Westeros, and I think part of her reason for existing is to show you that being a legendary character sucks most of the time when you're a legendary <laughs> yeah. character, um, because she's despised by almost everyone um, and has to fight. For respect every step of the way and i don't mean everyone isn't like major characters i mean all the characters in the world everybody in the world looks at her <laughs> like what is wrong with you the only person who saw any value in her was the brother of stannis who was murdered you know immediately yeah. that's yeah. the only reason she got anywhere her own family kind of disowned her um mm -hmm. but anyway i to me the the westeros is full of this history and so for all these characters, you, when you go back and, and look at the legends and the reality, the reality is always vastly different than the legend. So I think in the future, she will be the legendary Brienne of Tarth. But all of the struggles and how she was spit upon and, and um, that will be lost. And the stories will be what a wonderful hero, she, you know, heroine she was and how she oh, look at the female knight. You know, there's yeah. those there's characters like that scattered throughout Westeros history. I think she'll become legendary, but I think her end will be will be uh, tragic. See, I don't know. I don't know who will kill her because uh, it's almost got to be um, the mountain. I, I just uh, man, a legendary smackdown between those two would be <laughs> freaking awesome. It's another good game, Bo. <laughs> yeah. I think she's going to live uh, because I think, kind of for the same reasons you're saying, I think that she has to be the one to carry the code of chivalry into the new world. Um, separate from that old system of privilege, yeah. you know, that she'll really can survive. So I think she's going to live. I think uh, she'll. Uh, it'll have something to do with protecting Sansa. Yeah, or protecting the Starks. Yeah. Um, okay. What about uh, Missande? Who's that? Uh, the uh, <laughs> wow. Daenerys. Daenerys is advisor. Oh, I think Missandei. her and Grey Worm are totally dead. Yeah, they're just totally freaking dead beyond all dead. Totally. Oh yeah, both those characters. They're going Krillin? to have a sad, very sad ending. I think it's going to be very sad. Krillin didn't convince. <laughs> I think she'll love. I do too. I think both of them, both her and Grey Worm, I think they'll die together. I think they'll die together. No, they're going to live, and I'll tell you why. Because they're <laughs> the, they are the freed slaves who were the they're the really good advisors to Daenerys. <laughs> I, I'm just hearing I'm just hearing breath at this point. They they are the new uh, they're good advisors. They've been trained to lead oh. need leaders in the new world. They're yeah. going to be among those who uh, when Tyrion said the cripples, the bastards and the broken things, you know, are the ones that have been displaced by the old Are you really people. expecting this to end with the restoration of order like no. a Shakespeare play or something? No. Well, why are you banking on everything good happening? Well, I think that, n no, I'm not saying everything good. I'm saying the old order will be swept away. Something may come in its place, hopefully, unless it's nihilistic and it just keeps the old order, there, <laughs> right. which may be. But if something new comes in its place, it's those, those people who have been disenfranchised that are going to be there to make it happen. Yeah. So I think they're going to they're going to You're survive. looking at it thematically, and thematically makes absolutely yeah. no difference in the world of Game of Thrones. <laughs> uh, you know, oh, they're good, they're devising. Oh, so what? <laughs> they're going to die. Yeah, so <laughs> they, they, they're good. just high profile enough for everybody to know who they are and for the fans to like them. And they have a story that's reached its end. 
they you know they've come they've already culminated their story the next step is for them to die together and that's what's no. going to happen no Mm-mm. no they're gonna make it i'm okay. looking at it from the show you're looking at it from the dramatic <laughs> show will jo- win. okay jo- Mormont, uh is their friend zone dead uh, friend zone's dead yeah dead, he's beyond dead, dead. He's yeah dead. i think he may die at the hands of john snow I'm I think gonna... it's tragic because he survived the, the, the leprosy or whatever. <laughs> yeah, he actually managed the. He had the world's fastest case of leprosy. Skin or whatever it was. Yeah. He, he is going to die trying to defend Daenerys, and I of think course. he's going to be defending Daenerys, Daenerys from John. Okay, wait. Okay. I'm going back on this. He's going to live, and he's going to end up with Daenerys. Uh, I really believe John's going to die. <laughs> I know I'm skipping ahead because we're gonna get to John, but John's toast. John's gonna die, so uh, uh, that leaves Mormont to William. pick up the oh Weeping Widow. <laughs> okay, okay. It'll be please, Khaleesi, please. Really it's been the so please, Khaleesi, please. <laughs> the words of my house are ironically, <laughs> please, Khaleesi, please. I love you. <laughs> so there's no place for him outside the friend zone. He will die. <laughs> no. There's no place for him outside the friend zone. I'm sorry, he doesn't belong. Oh man, that is the quote of the day. No, I think I think it's you're very likely right. The obvious thing to do is to sacrifice him, but it's like they've just been putting it on hold for years now. He should have been sacrificed a long time ago. What's the point now? Yeah. I think he, I think he, he'll be the loyal. Uh, right hand that actually somehow steps out of the rubble because I, I i don't see all the main characters making it out unless they wimp out and make it you know fan service at the end john has been begging for death <laughs> just begging <laughs> for so much so that he's died multiple times and they just keep bringing him back he's like al pacino they just pull me back in so okay Let's you can't leave Nerys alone at the end she's got to have somebody no and i wish it would be sir Jar, but friend zone friend zone yeah, friend zone. Not gone. ever coming out of the friend zone. Nope. Okay, da- Davos Seaworth. He'll die. As much as I hate that, he will die. Boy, that's a tough one. Uh, obvious choice would be uh, in a sea battle with Euron, but that's right. already that's already. That would be good. Yeah, yeah would be he awesome. needs to get back. He needs to get back to his roots to the sea yeah. somehow. Um, what is his character's point now? Is he kind of John's advisor? He's John's advisor, mm-hmm. kind of hand to the king or John. And all of his close ties are gone. The girl is gone. Stannis is gone. Yeah. Uh, as much as I hope he lives, uh, he will probably be a fatality. Yeah. I'm going to go against you guys again as I think he'll survive. Okay. So I, think, is- I think the whites... Uh, the, I think this conflict with the they have to ramp up this conflict with the north some people have to die there's so many people who have dodged bullets and red shirts have taken their place um, that we gotta kill some people here to make it a uh, serious you, thing you may, you may be right but I think he may make it uh, Tormund Giant Bane Tormund Head well what did I say about did I say Brienne would die then Tormund has to die. Yeah. <laughs> if Brienne lives, then Tormund would live, I think. I think yeah. they're, the, they're the pairing or whatever. Tormund, so. Tormund will die at the hands of a White Walker. Tormund is going to live because he has to be the representative of the Free Folk afterwards. Oh, my he's, God. He's going to live. thematic over here. <laughs> at least you have a system for deciding. I'm just deciding at random. Or like the show does. Well, the show has a big dartboard. Works, they just right? throw it at it. They're like, what will this do to Twitter? You win or you die. Who will uh, Tormund's it, death uh, make us trending on Twitter? Then he has to go. That's the way they decided. Uh, Gendry. Gendry. I didn't say about Tormund. I think Tormund will die, and I think he will die from the um, the Night King. Oh. Oh, okay. Interesting. I think he'll have an epic death. Uh, the Night, uh, Night King. Night. Yeah. I think um, the Night King and the Mountain are both going to mow down some people as they go down. They have to. Uh, we haven't yeah. seen enough specifically from them. Uh, Gendry. Hmm. Mm. He, I think he has to die. I think he lives. <laughs> you got. I think he. I think he has to die because of the bloodline. Because it, I think it, the way the story is going to end in my head, he has to die for that to happen. Oh, you do you think the, all the bl- major bloodlines are going to get wiped out? Yeah. All the major heirs? No, in a lot no, of ways. No, you're missing the point. He's okay. the, oh. He's oh. The, he is the bastard. To the rack better. with you. 
he's the bastard who's better than his father. He no, win. I get it. I get it. He Anybody's win. better than his father. Yeah, that he's clown. The, he will live because he's one of the bastards, cripples, and broken things. You know, there's a he'll make it. Um, yeah, I think I think he'll make it because. Um, they're still going to have an attachment to these houses, and he's yeah. going to be a reestablisher of House Baratheon, um, which still has iconography that's significant in the whole Westeros thing. The, the yeah. stag, the, the, the antler that killed the wolf, dire wolf at the very first episode yeah. and everything. There has to be something to carry on that, I think. Yeah, yeah, so. I, I agree. Okay, let's go now to minor houses. House Greyjoy. You're on Greyjoy. Dead. Dead. He better be dead. Yeah. Davy <laughs> Jones, he'll die, he'll die Davy Jones locker. <laughs> I yeah. think he's going to die at the hands of Theon in a cockfight. And I think it's because I, I think there will be some phallic element to his death. Killed by Isn't the Amash. Theon under equipped for that, though? <laughs> No, I wasn't going he, there, he's but gonna, yeah. No, he's going <laughs> to win because he's the emasculated man. He's already you know? won a fight because he's emasculated. Yes, he specifically yeah. did that. Show yes. that. They're not going to do it twice. No, no, he's going to win because he's going to go. Uh, he's going to. He's You're already losing set. Me here. What the hell does he being emasculated have to do with winning a fight? Why you said because he's emasculated? Why? Why does because, that have to do with? Because Euron is one of the worst examples in the show. Of that toxic oh, masculinity. Oh, don't go there. Disney. Yes, he is. <laughs> we are that... in medieval times. There is no such thing as toxic masculinity. No one's even heard of the word toxic. What this whole show is about. That that system creates no that. no such thing in 1165. There's no the concept is. of it. That doesn't mean that it does not exist. They just don't understand it. And that's why it's destroying them. Oh, and my. God. Yes. That's look, why at the, so look at the castles in society they built the wall. That was all done with toxic masculinity. I know. Well, it's better but, but than... Where are they now? There's some lovely okay. filth over here. Oh. <laughs> 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 that's the system, yes. It's, it's based in the filth, and, and he's a great yeah. example. That All he can talk about is his wing-wang and how he wants to give it to these queens so that he can get power as this disempowered second son. I mean, he's the best example of the kind of dudes that that system creates. And Theon was on his way to becoming Euron Greyjoy until he got a I mean, way went past there. <laughs> Theon, was, <laughs> Theon did every despicable thing you can imagine. So, yeah. so, so why don't we go to him next? Is he going to live or die? He's going to die. Theon's going to live. Theon's going to die. Yeah, he'll live. How? I mean, I could, I could see him living just because of the fact that how... He, much he's been beaten up and chewed up and spit out by the show so it would be kind of ironic that he lives at the end so actually I, i'm gonna switch that i'm gonna say he lives yeah i can you see know, either way guy. because his journey is perfect to culminate in death because he's a yeah. he's a coward and he's afraid and in of that death. way it's so he has too to face it's almost too thing. obvious so i think yeah. he'll live yeah again if i'm gonna pick somebody I, i've always wondered why theon is there um and and in the books and everything george R. R. martin he has all these people that have the potential to come out on the other end of this conflict. They're just, it's about survival. This is the war of the roses or whatever, you know? And so you can't tell who's going to be the one standing. Sometimes it's by virtue of just being left alive, that you're the one to yeah. pick up the pieces. And um, Theon's been really broken. So, uh, but he's made a decent comeback. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, considering where he was, yeah. Yeah, so I could see it going either way because I think his sister will live. Yeah, uh, but I, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with both of them living. Okay. Uh, yeah. uh, unless they just go in a bloodbath and they just want to. I, at some point, you you kill too many characters, and it will lose impact. Right. And uh, she she's become leader. I think she'll become leader of the Iron Islands if they still have such leadership. Well, he's and definitely he was, made a commitment to her. She is yes, the leader she now. Can, if he, he restores her. Yeah, yeah. her. yeah, he'd kind of be her hand or something. Right. Um, so, but so, I, yeah. I, I completely disagree with this whole concept of um, neutering masculinity and therefore there's an advancement there somehow. That's a mutilation. That's that's just as bad oh, yes, as everything it's a else. Mutilation. Yeah. yeah. And it was brought on, what I'm saying is it was brought on by that system. Yeah, it I understand what you're saying. The of that of that system. I'm not saying that men have to have their wing wings cut off for it to be a better world. <laughs> <laughs> that's 
that's not what I'm saying. Oh, we're gonna bleep that out, right? <laughs> I will say, I will say one of my favorite lines from uh, from season seven was when Jamie said, "Maybe it is all about cocks after that. all, yeah. or whatever he said," and then he just looks so defeated. Yeah. <laughs> and it was a direct reference to South Park. <laughs> it's yeah, like it's South Park South makes Park. it into Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it is all about. It's like George R. R. Martin had to be like, "What?" when he saw that on TV. The guys that that system gets men to think that way that it is all about the cocks. And when when Theon lost his and he had to find a different way to live, he became a different person. And it's not that the the disempowered people I think are the ones that are going to come back and make a difference, you know. And so I, I think he may be one of the ones to do that. Well, the, um, one of the significant scenes to me with Theon was when him and John had that conversation where yeah. John said, you are both, now go do what you're destined to do. Yeah. He said, here's your power back. I'm giving you your power back. Stop worrying. About, stop being a cripple. Uh, I'm restoring you by whatever I can forgive. John's a messianic character. And he came back from the dead to say, your wrongs can't truly be righted, but you're forgiven. Now focus on the future. That's why I think from that point on, you can either go say, okay, Theon's going to embrace his death. I think it'd be much more powerful if Theon is going on to embrace his life. Yeah. His life is really starting from yeah. that point. Yes. Um, and, and I think if you look at John as a messianic character, John can't stay. So Theon as his disciple uh, from that kind of encounter or the person who's influenced by John, I think people that are influenced by John will be the ones left standing. I think that's so. really good. And and that if you're going to save this show from being completely nihilistic, it's going to have to be people like that that make it, you know, and that But this show it. could be completely nihilistic. It could be. Because there's yeah, absolutely this, could. It, you it know, always come be. back to that. It could indeed be. Um, let's go to another house, House Clegane. The mm. Hound and the Mountain. Oof, this is tough. Gosh, I hope the Hound lives, but I do again, too. he's dodged death over and over again, and mm. he's he's going to die. It Ooh. will be very, it will be very uh, heart wrenching, and I think he'll die by fire. Uh, oh God! And, and I had not even thought no. of that. Why had I not thought of that? Um, I think he saw his, I think he saw his death in the multiple times over and over again, and he, I think he saw it in the, in the fire. He's having, he's having to embrace the thing that he's most scared of, and, um. I think he'll. I think every moment that he's copped out from fire, which has happened over and over again, where yeah. he's back down, he will finally embrace the fire. Oh, which God, either he will nice. become the next red priest, um, where he where he commands the fire, you know, where he finds life in the fire, or he will uh, sacrifice it all in the fire, probably with his brother. Yeah, it's going to come back to shoving shoving the mountain's face into the flames, just yeah. like. Just like he yeah. did to him as a child. I and mean, he so warned I've... him. He warned him. We thought there was going to be Clegane Bowl in this yeah. last season when they, yeah. they were going to have the trial with Cer Cersei and, and uh, the mountain was going to be her champion. But it didn't happen. But when he met the mountain at that, uh, the armistice thing that they had when they were trying to make peace between them, he told him, you know who's coming for you, you know? So yeah, it's going yeah. to be. There's going to be a reckoning between them. So, do we all agree that all, that the both of them die? Yes, I do. I think so. I I say the hound lives. Oh, I'll be the go. oddball here. I'll say yeah. that the hound lives. Mountain <laughs> dies. He's a, he's another Mountain. survivor, but um, but he's yeah. also a warrior, and he had his crack at being a peaceful man, and the world wouldn't allow it. Yeah. So, um, um, he's an illustration of what people who put down their weapons, uh, what can become of them. But sometimes it's not a place where you can put your weapons down and, uh, and they're in the ultimate shitstorm of all time right now. So yeah. it's not a good time to lay your weapons down. So I, I think guys like him will, will definitely meet their end. Okay. House Lannister. Cersei. Hmm. Dead. She will die. I can't, I can't believe that Greedo is pausing on this. Uh, yeah. I, I, I don't there. know because um, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't given a lot of thought to who's going to be sitting sitting on that throne at the end. And she's pregnant. Yeah. So how much time has passed uh, between these seasons is my question. Because I don't think she's going to die while she's pregnant. We've already had that on this show. Yeah. Um, I think there's every instance she may end up um, back in the tower. Um, or, or the, you know, kind of the political prisoner. Um, she's still an important figure because the Lannisters... And the Lannister family and everything. And she has the Iron Bank connection. 
So politically, uh, I don't I don't think it'd be expedient to kill her. Um, I don't think that's gonna okay, matter though. I think me for, for for thematics <laughs> for for judging. Well, I'm assuming she thematics? loses the war, but I think she will triumph at some point, and then it will, the reverse the fortunes will reverse. What what did the witch say to her? Your brother will kill you. The witch told her that her younger brother would would be her end. I think is what it was. was. Is Jamie her younger brother as well? Jamie is There's, younger. Well, yeah, she's the oldest of all. Okay. Of them. Yeah. Well, there's a there's a prophecy, so yeah, she has to go. I changed my mind. I forgot about the prophecy. <laughs> Jamie will be her. Jamie will be her undoing, not Tyrion. It's very obvious that she's been looking at the wrong brother the whole time. Yeah. I say Tyrion kills her. Oh. No, Tyrion loves her too much to kill her. Oh, nope, he kills her. But something's going to happen to push him over the edge. Believe it or not, I think Tyrion loves loves her more than almost Jamie does at this no, point. No, I get it. Kind of like the whole thing with Jamie loving Tyrion, but can't show yeah. it to everybody else in the family, that right. kind of yeah. thing. And, I, and, you know, being your in doesn't mean they stab you in the gut. Right, right, exactly. It means, it means she could sacrifice herself to save him. She had that moment where she could have killed Jamie when he was walking out the door. And she yep. said very definitively, no one walks away from me ever. Yeah, I, and, and Jamie I was walked really away and she, she, and she let him walk. <laughs> yeah. so, so how far is she willing to go for him? I right. mean, at the end of the day. but um, I think she'll die in by Jamie's hand, too. Okay. So. I think it, 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 I don't know that it'll be directly from Jamie. It'll be indirectly because trying to save Jamie or, or something like that. Okay, our favorite Tyrion Lannister. Tyrion's gonna live. He's gonna live. I agree. Oh, I'm so glad that you agree. We have no, we're not on the show. We have no influence. Oh, I don't know why you're glad. Well, I, I know. Yeah, you're, she's so relieved, like we made that call. <laughs> I just need some, some fellowship in my desire for Tyrion to live. I mean, no, the show is a different animal, but based on the um, my knowledge of the books, there's no way Tyrion will die in the books. He's he's Martin's favorite character. Mm-hmm. Um, he's emerged as the protagonist and the and the overall viewpoint of this whole world. He he encapsulate, encapsulates all viewpoints. Yeah. Um, and to kill him would be like killing our window into the world in the books. I think. Um, but the show is different. But come on, look at Peter Dinklage. Can you kill him? Yeah. Can any can anybody in the show actually pull the trigger? <laughs> okay, not, this guy? Not. okay, let's move up. House Stark. Sansa. She's gonna live. Live. I agree too. She's shown Sansa's herself. Sansa's gonna to end die. up on the Iron Throne. Oh. <laughs> nice. Just boom. Oh my God. Straight to the <laughs> 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 Mic drop. <laughs> Why do you why do you think that, Carolyn? I just think uh, with her story arc going from where she was and being so despicable in season one and basically just being this clue little girl who, you know, is just being played back and forth by different houses and different people. Yeah. You know, she's and finally just you know, her character, the way she's matured and the way she's come along. I just I can see her ultimately being I think that would be really interesting to see her go from where she started to actually ending on the throne. And and she said to Littlefinger, I'm grateful to the for all the lessons yeah. as he's bleeding out on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> right. This is the ultimate the statement. This is the ultimate statement of power and Machiavellian yeah. manipulation. Yeah. That she's seen both. She's and she's she has the Stark heart and she has the uh she's seen the, the way the Lannisters work. She's seen everything. So yeah. Yeah, I think she'll Good definitely choice. survive. I don't know if she'll be on the Iron Throne, but she'll at least be leading the North. You know, she's yeah. the Stark. That she'll will be for the leader. sure. Yeah. What about Arya? Oof. Arya's gonna live. That's. I think she's gonna live too. Um, I, I do too. Can see it going away, but but I think she's ultimately gonna live. And I would love to see. I have a feeling Greedo will hate this idea, but I, <laughs> I would love to see a um, a spinoff show because I know they're working on like a hundred of them. Uh, but I would love to see a show, a show that takes place after this time frame where she is just like this badass assassin. Uh, <laughs> yeah. like she's already <laughs> there. Oh, yeah, she's, she's, there. she's already there. But I'd like to see like fast forward like 10 more years or something and then her being all grown up and she's just going around killing people. What do you, what do you think, Gundark? I think she's going to live. live. She I live. think, um, I think, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, just, the, uh, just because she's like the ultimate survivor to me on the show. Yeah. From a child, you know, she was nothing but a child, and she saw the most horrific things, and she made a, she made it through a lot of that on her own, you know. Yeah. She ended up paired with different people, but always she was on her own when she got herself out of stuff, you know. So, uh, I think she'll make it. I think um, she will die, very obviously uh, in the show, 
and then it will be revealed with a wink and a nudge that she's behind someone else's face. Oh, that's um, nice. And she will, and she will, she yeah. will disappear into the nether world of that. You know, either she'll become legendary like is Arya around. <laughs> Don't speak Ooh. too loud, or Arya will cut your throat. That's you know, <laughs> a good choice. I had not even thought of that. Just like yeah. I, I think she will. I think she will very that's obviously die good. in front of everyone. Yeah. And then she will have a, you know, this is part of becoming a faceless, uh, because she's both. Like a lot of these characters, uh, they they have become through the fire, and they become multiple things, and they're becoming yeah. a new thing, just like Theon. But but this, you can't just walk away from the whole faceless man uh, thing. And the, and I think you're right, Carillion, about she's probably got further adventures. Yeah. Um, she's yeah. probably going to establish that kind of philosophy on Westeros. Where she brings justice to an unjust she world. Becomes from the Batman of Westeros. Right, right. <laughs> like, yeah, you're not getting a trial. You're going. To, you're getting the. You're yeah. getting the fray. You're getting the Walter. Jelani justice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about Bran Stark? This is complicated. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's it it is complicated. Um, Spiritually, I think Bran will live. Uh, physically, he might die. <laughs> I think exactly that. I think I exactly think. that. I think he's somehow a, he's a war, isn't he? Live on. They're yeah. a war. Yeah, as a war. Yeah. There are so many theories about Bran because they um, have introduced these concepts that have so many plot holes and so many openings and so many chances. A lot of people think he's every Bran. You know how there's been a Bran throughout right. history? Bran the Builder, Bran this, Bran that. Right, right, right. Uh, a lot of people think he's the Night King, that he throws mm-hmm. himself back into the original man. I've heard who, that who too. Yeah, Bran that and becomes the Night King. Um, I hope they don't do any of that because I'm no. sick of the. Uh, there's a there's a trend in media right now to create these self-involved, convoluted stories where the solution is there the whole time. Yeah. And um, I won't go into spoilers, but there's certain shows out there and things right now where people are trying to save the world or whatever, and the threat to the world is right there. It's one of them. You know, the threat to the world is is because of the actions they do. So we're in like a very self-involved era where there is no grander scope. There is no coincidence. We have to have twists, turns that blow your mind and that, oh, it was, you know, it's so predictable that now, like if you have an 80-year-old character and a 13-year-old character that walk on the screen, I go, oh, that's the same guy. <laughs> you know, yeah. I mean, they go like, is that the same guy? Yeah, that's the same guy. Yeah, it's like you're looking for the mystery and the twist now. So please lay off of it. Let's just go back to some good old medieval. We got six episodes, right? Yeah. Leave it as a yeah. mystery. If Bran does leave his mind or whatever, leave it as a mystery. Nobody, you're not supposed to solve mysticism. There's not supposed I to be think, a pat I answer. I think that's what will happen. I, I think that he will like transcend some way into another world. Another every world every world. seer yeah. in every medium and everything sacrifices themselves because of what they see. Yeah. You can't see all that and not realize that you have to do something or he's going to have to do something. Do something that, yeah, yeah, or he's going to say, my knowledge isn't for this place. He may go to the north after all this and vanish, but he, yeah. his, his, his destiny should be in the mysticism and out or removed yeah. from people and stuff. You can already yeah. tell he's separating himself from humanity. He speaks like a robot, you know, yeah. um, he, he's beginning to see everything in the perspective of these are chess pieces. I'm way above. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. That will be the case with him. Okay. Now we end with the heavy hitters house Targaryen. Daenerys. Die. Daenerys Targaryen. Die. So die. Yep. I agree. How? Well, okay. Yeah. How? <laughs> um. Who's worthy of killing Daenerys? Yeah, I know. That's why I think it's not going to be a particular character. I think it's going to be. I mean, if it is a character, it's going to be something like the Night King. But I think something, somebody, some character at that at that level is going to do it. So you said Gundark. You said John. So you think she's going to yeah. go mad? Yes, and, and this is and going to be going a replay of the. Yeah, the what signs was the, are there. Was, no, I, that, that's actually really good. What the was the history of the there. guy putting his sword through the? Yes, wall? I thought exactly of that, and I can't remember the name. He's the prince who was promised, or whatever that legend. Uh, yeah. I can't remember the name. He of the created prince. a weapon by plunging it he through the heart. Created the weapon right. to kill the original Night King or whatever to fight the zombies in the first long night, through plunging the sword into the heart of his beloved. And so I think that John is going to have to do that, and then John will die, and that brings uh, okay. the person is John. <laughs> yeah, but but this is getting stupid because we have we have kryptonite everywhere falling out of the skies now. <laughs> you know, it, 
The White Walkers are like, oh my god, they're so fearsome. And yet, if you kill one, a thousand drop. And you can kill one by dropping a fridge on it, a refrigerator on it. You can, <laughs> you can hit it with a bus. A you know, it's like the first, the bus of the first man. Look, you know, run it over the White Walker. It's, it's like every single thing kills them now. So now there's a super weapon. What is the Night King immune to all the other things that kill whites? <laughs> uh, they can't even freaking swim, dig a moat. I mean, <laughs> dig a moat. You know, I know they can freeze the water or whatever, but. Greedo, you read the books. I mean. I, I don't know if you read all of them, but by the time you get to the end of them, George R. R. Martin had introduced so many different possible mystical weapons to use against oh, I know. the White Walkers. That it <laughs> but was I still ridiculous. think, I just go with simplicity. I say Valyrian yeah. steel, that's why Valyrian steel weapons were valued yeah. by the, well, they're also badass weapons, but they have to have that purpose. But then Dragon Glass kind of, you know, gives the simple man their way to fight the, so that you're not just completely defenseless. But it's getting ridiculous. And, um, no, let's please not have an epic scene where, where freaking super ponderous, personalityless Jon Snow has to. I have to sacrifice. Wow. I can't sacrifice myself, so I've got to sacrifice you. He's got Ned's stoicism, but it makes no sense. It's just he suddenly, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm so grim. And it has to be done this way because I'm so. I'm doing it because my honor. But he's like, you're. And stick in the mud, you know, <laughs> slap some, some sense into this guy. <laughs> no, I'm going to huddle behind my wolf pet and my pet wolf, and now my pet dragon. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you were uh... such a great character before. What the f to you? You became so important <laughs> that we couldn't live without you, and now I hate the sight of you. It's like. And, you know, oh, okay, if that doesn't out, happen, out, how, how will she die? I'm saying she lives. Oh. She, she's my person for the Iron Throne, yeah. Okay. She I'm telling lives. you right now, John's going to die, not her. John is dead. Okay, let's I'm say just John. Write him off yeah. right now. Exact opposite really, for me. I think really, she dies, he think... lives. Oh. Yeah. Daenerys why is going to live. John, why does John live for you, Carillion? Why? Because I, I, all along, I've just, I've always felt that between those two characters, they won't both die and they won't both live. I always think that one's going to live, one's going to die. Uh, and I just keep going back to, I mean, Daenerys has already shown the signs of, like you were saying, like some madness coming on. I have a feeling she's going to, you know, follow that, that cliche Targaryen madness. path, you know, and die uh, and go into mad, slip into madness. Um, and I think she's going to die and I think Jon's going to live, but I don't think he's going to end up on the Iron Throne. I still think it's going to be Sansa. So what will he do? Go. He's gonna go open a shop somewhere or something. <laughs> what will he do? You know, I I think honestly, with with your uh, idea there, I, I could see him. Basically, that crushes him so much that he just wants nothing to do with anything and just kind of goes off into exile, oh, like self exile. John. Yeah, I think. To yeah, some John. Degree, even if he were to live, they both got to be casualties of this whole thing. Yeah. He could he could end up as just commander of the Night Watch. True. They could reset and be like, we still they have to watch reset. for the future oh, yeah, threat or whatever. I yeah. Not even thought of he that. honors well, my... his oaths most of the time, so mm -hmm. yeah. Of course, they released him from that, but anyway. My prediction is that both of them die, though, and by, yeah. uh, right. and I think he will die in some act of self-sacrifice somehow because the Stark men are so great at that. So <laughs> <laughs> somehow, what about the dragons? Oof. Okay. Uh, I think I think Drogon will die, the uh, Daenerys's mount, mm -hmm. but the other one will live. Jokaris. Jokaris, I guess, yeah. Yeah, and then I, pain I think mount, I think will die. Viserion will die. That's the ice one now. Oh, I um, forgot. Yeah, you got to get. Yeah, Viserion yeah, will, will die. die. Yeah. Uh, that's I, what, I think, Dro that's I think Drogon's the only one that lives. I think Drogon's the only one that lives. I think Drogon dies taking out Viserion. I think they kill each other. Oh, okay, yeah. Yes. And, um, and, uh, and then the, the, the last dragon is yet to be unclaimed by a rider. Yeah. So I think that's the one that like Tyrion the... or Daenerys ends up yeah, on after all this is one, over. That's the one that's named after Jon's dad. Right. So I think it will be Jon. That's, will... that's why it'll be Jon, yeah. Yeah. No, that's sad. I've had enough of Epic John. No, no, no <laughs> I don't like this whole thing of him being a Targaryen myself. I'm not into it. So. <laughs> okay, let's wrap up You Win or You Die with a wild card. Um, let's say instead of all men must die, who do you want to survive? 
If you had the choice of one character to survive, who would it be? And it doesn't mean anything beyond that. No, no. It doesn't mean not they end up on the Iron, on the Iron Throne. No. Yeah. Just, just means you can, can tell the producers not to kill that character and they don't kill the character. Yeah. Okay. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. Um, I don't think it's necessary, but I would say Tyrion. Okay. I say Tyrion as well. I say Tyrion. <laughs> <laughs> that's well, okay, well that's that's boring. Let's let's do a second choice then. <laughs> okay, so uh, just take Tyrion, Tyrion off the Tyrion table. Off. <laughs> Tyrion's already decided. He ain't going anywhere. <laughs> who would be who would be your your B character that you would guarantee lives? Well, I don't think mine is going to be that surprising because I think he's going to live anyway. But I'll say uh, Sam. Really. Mm. Nice. Okay. Why would you choose Sam? I just I love his character so much, <laughs> and I, I could literally see like the end of this episode, or the end of this episode, the end of the, or the well, yeah, the end of the final episode being I mean, this is a little Game of Thrones ish, or excuse me, or Lord of the Rings ish, but I could see him like all of a sudden, like fast forward, and he's telling the story. Yeah, he's the main yeah. writing, you know, recording everything, and actually being the one to tell the story. Yeah. <laughs> What about you, Greta? It killed off all the ones that I would have protected. <laughs> um, so at this point, it's all bets are off. But I would... Are you guys getting an echo on my end? No. Is it just me? Okay. Um, I would say Jorah. Oh. Um, okay. Jorah... Uh, as, as obvious a choice as he, to die, as he is to die, that's why I would protect him, I think, because the character suffered enough. He's been through enough and everything. <laughs> that's true. And uh, um, that's true. I do. A think long time in, in the friend zone. In my, yeah, a long time in the friend zone. And in my version of events that I think is going to happen, Daenerys is going to live, and Jorah needs to be there uh, to pick up the pieces or whatever. And I think I think the both I think it's more than I think it's more than just a dis, you know a despairing friend zone relationship at this point. I think they both truly respect each other. They've been through the falling out. Their relationship is way deeper than John and Daenerys' relationship, and they're not related as far as we know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so these are all these are all positive. That's a good thumbs but, up. Uh, but yeah, I think I think I think um, he's gone on the same kind of journey. If you if you were saying he hadn't been on a journey yet. Then go ahead and you know killing seems seems, but he's he's been disgraced. He went from knight to disgrace. Then he redeems himself. He was a traitor. He revealed that. He paid the price for that. He got the horrible medieval leprosy <laughs> illness. He found a way through that. Um, so he's already come out on the other side of this stuff that's <laughs> going to happen. And um, so he might I would like to see. I would like to see loyalty rewarded for once. Like you know, mm -hmm. Sir Barristan and all these characters that have been loyal and have died have paid the price. Right. I'd yeah. like to see the loyalty and the long suffering, um, but maybe he's too much of a believer. Like your theory, you know, maybe he kind of has to go um, as a as a semblance of the old order. But I think he's just the guy from the old order that witnesses the change firsthand. He's witnessed the change all the way from the beginning, and it's converted him from a spy and a disgraced yeah. knight into something else. And um, sure, maybe he's used up, but but I, I would protect him. I think. And he already embraced the new order by standing by Daenerys. You know, so, the actor's great. Yeah. The character's great. I don't know what would be in store next, but the thing's over. It's over. Who cares? <laughs> so, <laughs> go live my, your life. <laughs> my wild card choice is survival. I want the hound to survive. I do not yeah, think that's, he will. I was, I was but, close to oh, saying that. Oh, he's so close to my heart. I think he's my second choice. Next what would he do, though? Would he become a priest? I don't know. You know maybe. He, that would be a good... It. That might be because he's been on such a soul-searching quest. You know? Yeah. That might be the best outcome. And in fact, it kind of implied in the books. And I mean, he hung out with the the priest. And um, I just I wonder if he might not become a holy man or something. But well, didn't he do that whole arc on the show where he helped build the church? Yes, yeah. He, that, the or, church he helped build the village. That one, yeah. Yeah, well, was like he one was influenced episode. by that one guy who told, you know, was trying to tell him, hey, you can come back from wherever you're at. And then that guy got murdered. Yeah. yeah. Well, the, all, the, everybody the got broken, murdered. Yeah. The broken man, the broken man that we still retain some sympathy for. I would love to see him mm -hmm. survive. So he's he's my choice. Okay. Now we have to consult the three eyed raven it about is time. The, the big questions. It is time to consult the three eyed raven. Sounds like what Braun would 
would name part of his anatomy. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you need to consult the Three Eyed Raven. <laughs> <laughs> is, 80, is 80 gold pieces <laughs> enough for you to consult the three eyed raven? Solo always does shots first. 